Hey everybody, this is a quick video. In case you have an UMA Connect base station and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now, you're going to want to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues where this base station is not working properly, whether it's not connecting or if it's not detected, it seems to be lagging or not responding, a hard reset can fix a lot of those issues. Now, you're going to need to set it up again, and that's the second reason you might want to do this. If for whatever reason you just want to get it back to the way it was when it came out of the box so you can set everything up again new, we can do that really easily. All we need to do um, is we're going to power it off, and then we're going to actually unplug it. Um, once we do that, we'll find the reset button, which is located right beside the USB port on the back of the base station. We're just going to press down that reset button, and while we restore power to it and turn it back on. Um, and then just keep the button pressed and the, it will go through a reset cycle. So what will happen is the LED will turn solid red and then it will turn green and red and then it will turn solid green and the speaker will make two like popping sounds and then the LED will blink red and blue and then the LED will return to solid red. And when they after doing that cycle, once the LED has returned to solid red, you can just continue to hold the reset button for another 10 seconds. Then you can release the reset button, the unit will reboot, and it will reboot into its factory default settings.